one is a little more frozen. Show it to the camera. Okay. Go ahead. Take another bite. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Little Tokyo, it's one of three remaining Japan towns in the U.S. It has been around for over 132 years. L.A. is home to the largest population of Japanese Americans in North America. At its peak, Little Tokyo's population was over 30,000. That all changed after December 7, 1941, a date that will live in infamy when many people of Japanese ancestry were removed and placed in internment camps. A few years later, they were allowed to return, but the population has never been the same. You can take a walk along Memory Lane as the historic buildings along First Street all have tiles in front that show what each building was used for in years past. Little Tokyo is now a 67-acre area which is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Many people visit here because it serves as a Japanese cultural center. Today, we visit in search of delicious treats. If you've ever had mochi ice cream before, this is the shop that started it all. Mochi ice cream was introduced here at Mikiwaya Mochi in 1994. The shop sits in the center of the Japanese village plaza. It's creamy, chewy, silky soft, and very delightful. This treat is definitely a mystery only a tongue can unravel. It's ice cream wrapped inside squishy mochi dough. They sell all types of flavors, but today we try the three most popular ones. Strawberry, mango, and green tea. The strawberry tasted like a strawberry, but the mango was my favorite. The green tea, on the other hand... Becky may not have cared for this one, but this one's my favorite. <laughs> Get any napkins? No. <laughs> As you walk around the Japanese village plaza, you are tempted with many treats that are often prepared by the storefront. We recommend grabbing a steamed bun as you walk and shop. Don't forget to bring cash as many grab-and-go spots do not take credit card. Okay, so we're not dissing Trader Joe's and their delicious frozen pork buns, but if you really want to get a hot steamed fresh one, you gotta come here. Trust us, it's delicious. If you have more time to spend while you're visiting Little Tokyo, we recommend going to the Japanese American National Museum. Tickets are only $16 and they're closed on Mondays. Let us know how you like it. <laughs> Did you see that car stop? No. <laughs> In California, when a car does not come to a complete stop, it's known as the California Roll. Well, speaking of California Roll, we're at the location, well, the disputed location of the restaurant that has claimed to make the first ever California Roll. It's now a clothing shop, but I guess it's just fun to think about what it was like back then. <laughs> it's disputed. Today's entertainment is a one-man band. Check out his unique music setup. We guarantee you can't find another just like him. Feel free to sit around and relax as you munch on your treats.
we somehow came upon this video game store. It was a treasure trove of old Nintendo, Sega, and Sony games, systems, and novelties. I'm not entirely sure what all was there because most were in Japanese, but this place was packed. We're getting a little thirsty with all this walking around Little Tokyo, so we find a bubble tea place. Well, this place is no ordinary bubble tea shop, it's actually a self-serve kind of joint. Becky decides on the classic while I get the best friend. Keep in mind that all of these come with lactose-free milk, so that's always a plus. If you don't know what the bubbles are, or boba, they're actually puffed up little tapioca balls. If you get a chance, I will definitely recommend the pudding. That's right, you can put pudding in your cup. Oh my god, if you get a chance for a dollar more, you can put ice cream on top of your bubble tea. Oh, so refreshing. You're definitely gonna have to try this place. We're gonna leave a link in the description so you know how to get here. fuketsu Do on First Street is quite possibly the most fascinating place in Little Tokyo. It opened in 1903 as a confectionery and is still in operation by the original Kido family. They were also moved to an internment camp given four days to get their affairs in order and sell their belongings. When they were released, they knew they had to come back to Little Tokyo and after various trials and tribulations, opened in their current location in 1946. They sell traditional mochi and other sweets and also own the claim to fame of being the original inventors of the fortune cookie. That's right, the current owner's grandfather, the original owner of the shop, created the fortune cookie. The original molds sit quietly in the window. I know what you're thinking. Aren't fortune cookies Chinese? Apparently they were copied and popularized by a Chinese proprietor. How's that for a fun fact? Strawberry mochi, blueberry mochi, green tea mochi. Every mochi is made here fresh daily. The strawberry mochi has a nice delicate flavor to it. It's coated with cornstarch to keep your fingers from sticking. Now the blueberry mochi was by far the most flavorful we sampled. There must be something about green tea because Becky's not a fan at all. <laughs> now I know what you might be thinking. What about the ramen? When are they going to eat some ramen? Okay, really, by the time we started thinking about getting in line for ramen, the line was just out the door. Do yourself a favor. Get that first. Little Tokyo may only span a couple of blocks, but it's chock full of heritage and culinary treats. But really, this section of LA is home to other neighborhoods such as the Jewelry and Fashion Districts, Olivera Street, and Chinatown to name a few, all within about half a mile. Be ready to shell out some big bucks for parking, 
You can park at one of the many garages for a steep price, but if you happen to land on street parking, it's metered with either coins or a credit card. If you happen to stop by on Sunday, parking is free. So good luck with that. May the odds be ever in your favor. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this adventure. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss the next episode. And until next time, bye-bye.